Well, hello guys and gals. Um, as you saw from our last video where you replaced the leaf springs on the uh, Solitude, we actually are gonna do a little addition to that. Um, basically just because I want to prolong those life springs. I don't wanna have to replace them in eight months like I spoke of. Um, so this company here, this was brought to my attention by my actual future son-in-law. So Kyle, I thank you. So this product here is called Sumo Springs. Um, it is basically a beefed up bump stop. So I've already kind of opened one. I want to open this one for you guys and kind of show you what comes in said package. Uh, these will be very easy to install. Um, this one is called the TSS-107-47. That is the model that I got. So right at the top, you get your uh, instructions, you get a little guarantee, and of course, you get your stickers. Um, basically, this is just a one-page color um, installation. Here are all your hardware, your mounting brackets, and then one bump stop, two bump stop. And then they'll give you four of these guys. So here's two and two. Um, basically these are the spacers to rise how high. Um, so you have three different settings per bump stop that you can put that on. The other thing that I really like about these guys is this is set up for camper trailers, okay? This, this model is. Um, and I believe this one was from 5,000 to 8,000 pounds. It will withhold. The nice thing about this is these brackets right here and this right here, these are for your gas lines. So if you have a gas line, which most of them do, coming over the axles by the frame, this allows you to mount this to these guys here and relocate your uh, gas line away from that frame. So basically, when they're put together, this is what they will look like. This is one with a one inch, um, or excuse me, with one of the spacers on here. And this part right here and here will actually mount over your U-bolt shackle. Um, and then this is gonna impact on your frame. And so that's one with a one inch spacer and that's one with two. And then if you had three, it would be, so you can see the difference of the height. Um, so now we're going to go outside. Basically, we're going to just tilt the um, camper up. We're going to get it off of the weight. Well, I should say, first of all, I'm going to lower the leveling jacks and see what we're sitting at for weight wise so that I know where I need to have these sitting. And then what we'll do is we will raise one side, put those two on, lower it back down, raise the other side, put those two on. It's going to be probably about a 10 minute process per side. It's going to go super fast. It's really easy. The only thing you need is this bolt right here and it looks like it's a half inch. Um, this is a, a grade five, grade eight, excuse me, lock nut. So that's it. That's all you need for tools. Everything else is going to be hand done. So we're going to move outside. We're going to get this thing all set up and ready to rock and roll. And then we'll, um, we'll get them installed. All right, let's go. Okay, so um, we've got this one mounted up here. And as you can see, um, I had to actually take all the spacers out. We've got this one jacked up so the wheels are almost off the ground. Um, I could probably spin this if I wanted to, but the nice thing is, like I was talking, the gas line is way out of the way of this guy. So I don't even have to worry about relocating it. But I did jack this up enough to get the pressure off of here. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to tighten this down with just a little bit of an impact. And then I'm going to come back with a wrench and just snug it up. All right. So now that we've got that bracket on here, we'll twist this tight. And we're gonna repeat that process three more times and that's it. So I'm gonna put the other ones on here real quick and then we will lower it down. I'll show you what it looks like when it's all down and in place. 
So literally, this is probably gonna take me about 15 minutes and we will pop them in place and go to town. So I leave this all pretty loose um, so that it'll still adjust because it is a little tricky getting it on here, at least on mine. I don't have a lot of, of clearance from clearance, so to speak. So and I guess I should show you. Let me grab this from Beth real quick. We are gonna latch on right here and right here on the back side. So it goes somewhat like this. Like I said, it takes a little bit, there we go. And then you can see it's kind of latched in. So I will hand that back to her. And then, so we're still loose up top and this is a carriage bolt. So you do need to hold the other side in until you get your, uh, your nut a little tight. Make sure that you're positioned properly. All right, so there we are, you know, tight, not all the way tight. We're snug, I guess I should say. And then we want to just run this guy. Now, you will have some self tappers up here that are holding your underlayment uh, right here, your underbelly in place. You can move your screw and put it to a different spot and you can cut this out if you want to. Um, I'm not gonna worry about it because it's really not gonna interfere with it much. Oops. Again, the one bolt you have is a 9 16 Everything else you're gonna do by hand. Possibly a screwdriver if you are relocating your um, gas line. Other than that, this is all you need. And that, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen's, is how that is done. So I will grab this one more time. And I don't know if you can see, but there is a little bit of a gap up here. Um, you can see some daylight up there. What I'm gonna do is we are going to lower this back down. It is gonna put pressure on this. This is the um, least amount that I could have on these guys as far as a, uh, um, is is spacing so i know that they'll be sitting on the bump stop but that's okay because that's kind of just going to add a little more cushion to this guy so we are going to do some editing magic here because i have to go get my phone to lower this down because we have the one touch and then uh we'll show you what it looks like and i don't think that one is tight looking at it it looks weird do you want me to pause this or? I don't know what I did with my phone. Oh, it's in the box. It's in the box. It's in the box. It's in the box. All right, now for some movie magic. Oh, hold please. We have to reconnect. All right, movie magic take two. So you can see there's quite a bit of compression there. Now, mind you, that is because I put more pressure on this side than I have on the driver's side. But that is what its intended function is to be, is to help out these leaf springs. So we're putting more force down on the center than we are on the outriggers. And that is, you know, gonna help. We're nice and solid on there and um, it's gonna take out a lot of the abuse that these leaf springs get going down these uh, smooth roads of America. So we're gonna put these on today. Um, we are heading out in two days to about a 300 mile trip. We're gonna retest them there when we get to our next stop. And we'll let you know. Um, I'll probably give a, a feedback on this guy in about, oh, probably a month or so. And we'll let you know if we really do like them or or what our verdict is of them but as of right now i think they're going to do fantastic it's an easy fix and it wasn't that expensive so 
thanks guys we're gonna like i said pound out these next two we'll do the uh, movie magic of of uh time lapse and uh we'll be done all right so now we are going to raise the drive side So again, we're just barely off the ground. And this will allow us work room to get these guys in. And on this side, we've got a little bit more of a challenge. We've got um, the brake line wires for the electric brakes. So it's just a matter of finessing these things in and out to make it work for you. Because it's so easy. There we go. And this guy. Like I said, it's just working it back and forth till you get where you need it to be at. You will get dirty. So, I'm gonna get that tight. And now we're just going to tighten our bolts. And if you're asking why I'm using hand tools to finish tighten it, I like to feel it. Um, some of these tools nowadays are so powerful that you could actually break the bolt. So that's why I'm using hand tools at the very end to finish tightening it up. And now we're going to move to the front and uh, finish this side up and then we'll be done. Same thing, we're going to kind of... And if you have a Solitude 390, I don't think I have to tell you, but be careful of this guy. Because if you're trying to put this thing in, you could get a very cold and wet bath if you have any water in your system. All right. not hooked to the truck but we are as you can see levelers are off the ground and you can see the little bumpers um, they are kind of compressed uh, because there is a lot more weight back here because of the way it's tilted um, I'll show another video real quick um, when we um, before we unhook the next spot and I'll show you what it looks like actually on road height but that's what they look like installed um these are the 5,000 to 8,000 pound so we'll be just fine and i hope to have good results from these things all right and that is how that's done so now we'll re-level it back up and uh when we go on our next ride we'll check her out um uh, i'll stop uh, about halfway on our destination about 150 miles recheck all this stuff um, I've already rechecked the torque on the U-bolts and the wet bolts from when we did the leaf springs. Um, I checked those last week. And so, well, I should say last weekend when we went up into the mountains. And uh, everything torqued good, so we'll do the same thing. We'll recheck this stuff when we stop just to make sure that ain't nothing loosened up. They are lock nuts. They shouldn't, but again, they shouldn't. doesn't mean that they won't. 
well they are a bit compressed we'll see how this kind of pans out and see how they fare we'll see if they were a good investment or not so we are about oh i don't know five ten miles into our trip and i can tell you already that those sumo springs are extremely impressive um took away all the chucking like instantly took it away uh, we've gone over some pretty rough bridge transitions that we used to get a lot of bucking for, I don't know, three or four rebounds. Totally gone. Um, so, so far, thumbs up. We'll see what they look like when we get about 300 miles. Like I said, they they were a little more compressed than I wanted them to be. Um, but we'll just see how they hold up. As of right now, thoroughly impressed. And, like Beth mentioned... We're curious to see what the cabinets look like. We always get some um, shuffling around of the dishes and the glasses and stuff like that. So really curious to see what the inside of the cabinets look like. And maybe we'll just show you guys so you can see as well as we do when we open it up. All right, so we just rolled into Sheridan, Wyoming. Um, this was the first trip that we had with those um, uh, I guess they're bump stops, those sumo springs. Um, I'm still hooked up to the truck. I haven't lowered anything. I just kind of wanted to take another look at what uh, those bumpers look like on the frame and on the U-bolt uh, saddles. I'll tell you what though, what a difference. Um, we went over some rough bridge transitions. We hardly felt this camper back here at all. So. Um, from a ride standpoint it was amazingly different huge so we'll see what they kind of look like I imagine that they're going to be somewhat compressed um, but we'll take a look <sighs> okay so yes they are somewhat compressed which is kind of what I thought um, and we got them over there and over there but um, that's what they're supposed to do so when we level this out I'll look and I'll retighten everything back down um, but vastly improvement man I tell you what uh, these things are awesome <laughs> awesome awesome it felt like a air ride trailer it was it was very nice the transitions were smooth um, so everything about it i love them wow <laughs> do i look weird or is it me you look weird flip it around and see what the setting is okay it's just a shadow <laughs> it made you look like you were funky i know it's weird <laughs> okay so you saw our uh install and review of the sumo springs these things are just phenomenal um i know i said that i, I love these things but I'm telling you, they were, they're awesome. And once again, thanks, Kyle. Uh, without you, I, I wouldn't even thought to put these things on. So um, greatly appreciated. And uh, I hope these things last a long time. You know, um, the ride, I, I can't get over the ride. The ride was just amazing. It was totally different. Um, it was very smooth. We had very uh, minimal, uh, I don't want to say damage, but... You know things out of place when we moved everything uh the slides out and everything uh for the most part everything was where we left it so which you know anybody that does this full-time knows that that doesn't happen very often so uh we were <laughs> pleasantly surprised uh, so again i will throw the link down in the description uh sumo springs those things are a-ok -okay, fantastic and uh pick yourself up a pair Alrighty, thanks guys we'll see you next week